Hey so welcome back to Wine Decoded's Bathtub Shiraz project for Vintage 2016. We've just been talking about whole bunches in ferments, but one of the other things that we're doing every day is tasting, tasting, tasting. So we taste the skins, we taste the whole fruit, but we also taste the liquid from the ferment. So we've got the three ferments lined up here. What we've got is the whole bunch here. We've got the middle ferment, which is the second most progressed and the the back ferment which is the slowest of the lot so the middle and the back have basically got the same treatment uh crushed fruit with some uh some stalks in them because of the way we ended up bucketing it in a little bit randomly the middle ferment's got a little bit more liquid this one's got a little bit more solids we're not too fussed about that at the moment but what we want to do now is taste so we want to taste um yeah for problems but really more importantly for us to get a bit of an idea of how the ferments are progressing, how the tannins and the flavours are extracting uh, and give us some guidance on how we might just gently guide these ferments over the next few days. Whether we pump them over a lot more, whether we plunge them a bit more to get some more extraction out of them or whether we do a little bit less. Um, also with these particular two ferments with the tea bags of stalks in them, whether we say hey let's pull those tea bags of stalks out and uh, and and then uh, get rid of those. So those tea bags of stalks, if you remember, we've got some big muslin cloth, put a couple of buckets of stalks in the middle of it, wrapped it all up, so that we could get some of the impact of those stalks in the uh, in the wine, but also choose the timing of when we pull those stalks out and get rid of them, just in case they start to impart too much bitterness or hardness. We want the spice from them, we want some of the ability of them to potentially stabilise the colour, but we don't want to get really aggressive in our sea tannin. So that tends to be extracted when the ferments get hotter, when there's more alcohol in the, in the, in the fermentation, not so much in the earlier stage. So there's a potential that we'll pull those tea bags out uh, towards the, uh, the bottom quarter of the ferment. So let's have a look. We'll start with the, uh, the whole bunch. Again, we've poured it into a glass and allowed it to settle. So we've got the little bits of grit out of the uh, out of the liquid it makes it easier for us to assess the texture of the wine without the impact of the solid component which at the end of the day won't be in the finished product so I'm not going to swell it too much I'm just going to be concentrating on texture initially so and, and how that tannins progressing so we'll have a quick taste So what I'm seeing at the moment is a slight edge of grip, uh, but nothing too excessive. Uh, still obviously very sweet. We're starting to see the kind of vinosity, the wininess come through in, in, in this particular ferment. I'm happy for it to continue to progress like that. There's nothing too over the top. Um, so we'll, we'll keep sort of maintaining the status quo and, and maybe having a, have, have a look at that, that foot stomping process as I mentioned in the previous episode today or tomorrow. So I'll have a look at the middle one. This middle one's only, only consumed around about 10% uh, of, the, of the sugars. Uh, so it's just kicking off. It's gonna be a bit of a fruit bomb, but let's, let's have a look and uh, again, we'll just not swirl it. We don't wanna get that sediment up. We just wanna have a, have a taste and concentrate on the, on the textures. Okay, so this one, I wish you guys could taste this, and that's something we're planning to sort of really work on for next year. But still very, very soft and supple. Um, picked up some good colour. One of the things that I'm really noticing, just even in the glass still, is uh, a bit of reduction. So the yeast in there are getting stressed and they're starting to produce a little bit of hydrogen sulphide. Remember, this one is actually a natural ferment. Uh, so it's, it's just relying on the native indigenous uh, microflora, the bugs, uh, to ferment it. Um, they're obviously struggling a little bit and starting to produce a little bit of hydrogen sulfide. Uh, so it smells like rotten egg gas uh, very early on in the ferment. That is not a big concern. We can deal with that and manage that simply by aerating the wine. We might actually look at inoculating this one with some yeast, uh, some wine specific yeast 
to, 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 to try and uh, help the ferment along because if it's producing hydrogen sulfide this early on in the ferment there's a, a likelihood that that will just continue and get get worse during the ferment so we might end up knocking that one on the head uh, relatively soon in terms of uh, adding some adding some yeast to it and, and, and getting it going um, again yeah still very soft and supple we'll taste this uh, this last one so So that, that is actually um, looking quite good as well. Interestingly, I'm starting to see some chewy tannin come in there, and, it, and it's only really just kicked off ferment. So we are going to have to be really cautious of how we extract tannin from these, uh, these grapes. Uh, Dylan from Seville, who's seen this fruit before, uh, indicated that they, they can get quite tannic and, uh, and tough quickly, so you have to be, uh, be careful, and, and I'm starting to see that already. Um, what we might be looking at doing is uh, starting to progress the ferment uh, uh, on uh, on skins a little bit uh, a little bit faster uh, to to perhaps help uh, get that extraction done. We'll be very very careful with these stalk tea bags. We might even actually look at some seed extraction over time to uh, to get rid of uh, the seeds, which can also impart some some tannin and affect the mouth feel. Um, so we've got a lot of things to, to watch and think about. So that's why we do these tastings. It's really important that we do them on a, on a consistent basis so we can react uh, appropriately um, when the wines tell us something needs to be done. So the um, last thing I'd like to say is that I'm really quite happy that the mid palate fruit weight, so the, 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 the depth of fruit flavor in the middle of my palate is coming through in these wines and it, it, it was something that I was a little bit worried about just tasting the fruit uh, on, on its own so it's good to see that that's coming through and uh, I think we're going to have a, a wine loaded with yumminess so I'm pretty pretty excited about the way these are looking. Now, thanks again for, for watching a wine decoded session and we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you on the next round. Cheers. Need more yumminess? Come and join us at winedecoded.com.au